Coral reefs worldwide provide food and income to millions of people. In addition to threats posed by local impacts, the survival of the world's reefs are now threatened by global warming and acidification. Five years into a GEF-funded project to improve coral reef management, scientists and financiers met at the 2009 International Waters Conference in Cairns. Most importantly, the Coral Reef Targeted Research Project has contributed to the debate about climate change and its, uh, as a threat to coral reefs. And what this group has really, um, I think, uh, done is to integrate the knowledge, uh, fill in important knowledge gaps, and come to the conclusion that reefs are more sensitive than we thought to climate change uh, than when the project was started. Well, we have several very important tasks to begin with, and the tasks are, are, are basically due to uh, establishing communications with the, with, the, with the stakeholders. When you are working at problems or issues that uh, directly affect the local communities, is the most important thing is to, to involve them directly from the beginning. Uh, if we think that more than half the world's population lives in the coastal zone, we cannot escape the fact that uh, sustainable development is very spatial and we need to address the challenges of increased population growth rate, poverty, and the pressures on these coastal marine ecosystem services. These services provide things like food security, livelihoods, uh, revenue streams from tourism, uh, coastal protection, and biodiversity. Now, all of these play a huge role in the human welfare of populations in developing countries, which we, as an institution, care about. Despite the fact that coral reefs are really important to humanity, you've got 0.1% of the Earth's surface uh, essentially providing services for half a billion people, or maybe even more. Uh, despite that, coral reefs are being assaulted by a whole range of different factors at the local level, this is the over-exploitation of key species on reefs, the physical destruction of reefs and, and changes to water quality across reefs, but also now at a global level through things like global warming and ocean acidification. Our role in this project is also uh, to understand locally how these drivers, for instance, nutrient pollution, overfishing, sedimentation and affecting water quality, which are in the control of local managers and local communities, can work to alleviate these stresses on coral reef ecosystems. The CRTR project in entirety has contributed to the underlying knowledge of reefs. It's also um, developed a number of strategies and techniques for not only detecting problems but for solving them. The major challenge actually is uh, poverty. When people don't have enough to eat and they depend on certain resources, while you're telling them that they should reduce the pressure on the resources, they feel like you want them instead to starve, to die, that you, you respect more the, the resources than themselves. So I think the challenge is to find an alternative way of income generation in the villages. And that's something that the World Bank can do through its uh, ability to, to convene different stakeholders and get engaged in policy dialogue at the national level. If we don't provide other alternatives for income generation, then what we are doing is going to end up being uh, not, not, not really applicable because really people need to have something to eat, they need to, 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 to live, and uh, they feel that the coastal resources are the only chances. So if we really provide other means of living, then it will be winning, I think. <music>